So I haven't logged on to this Genshin account for around a year now. And the reason why I quit in the first place was because of this. After that disappointing 50-50 loss, I just logged off and forgot about this account. Until today, where I just decided to log back into this account to see what happens after returning to Genshin Impact after a year. So what's the first thing you gotta do when you log on to an old account? I'll let you think for a sec. Okay, if you didn't answer, check Primo Gym count. Then you're either 1, not a gacha addict, or 2, someone that has a lot more resilience than me. But yeah, apparently I have around 10,000 Primo Gym support for Gang Yu, who was also the reason why I quit this account in the first place, because I lost my 50 50 the last time I tried to pull her. So yeah, hopefully I'll get my revenge this time around. But before that, let me tell you the origin of both team. The account has been abandoned for a year. Okay, that sounded kinda scary. Anyways, if you have been following my channel for a while now, you might remember I had the Bows Only series, where I initially called it Sniper Impact. I had an identity crisis with this series, since I wanted it to be more original and not just make it another weapon only series. So I made it so this account can only charge attack, with a few rules. In this account, I can only use charge attacks, so essentially I am playing Sniper Impact, which is the series name I'm gonna go with. I can also use elemental bursts after my burst charges up from collecting elemental particles, but I cannot use elemental skills on enemies. However, I can use skills like Venti's Wind Drift for quality of life during exploration. Anyways, the reception was 50-50. Some loved the idea, some hated it. So I started doubting myself and wondering if this was even a good idea. On top of that, I also cheated. So if you guys are wondering how I have Venti and Child on this account, it's because I had this account for almost 2 years now and I logged in to roll sometimes and got pretty lucky. Yes, you heard that right. Before I even started the series, I had Child, Venti, and Sara on this account. So I basically started with a team of 4 already, along with Amber. Understandably, people thought it was kinda lame. So yeah, this also played into a part of the reason why I decided to stop this series altogether. Anyways, I basically charged attack through the first part of the Mondstadt story. It was pretty difficult, since I had to actually aim. But for some reason, this also happened when I fought against a giant animal ball. There he goes again. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing, but it's giving me a free kill. So by episode 2, I already scrapped my idea of Sniper Impact and made a few changes to the series. So I'm changing things up on my Sniper Impact account. I'm going to bench both my Child and Venti. I'm not going to use any 5 star characters until I get to Inazuma, unless I need them for a specific element. So as for now, I will only play 2 characters, Amber and Sara. I'm also changing the rules for Sniper Impact where I can use normal attacks and elemental skills now to essentially make it easier for me. But since we can't ascend Sara until Inazuma, We'll have Ember carry us the whole journey through Mondstadt and Liyue, so hopefully we can actually make it through. With only Ember and Sara, they're both more of a charge attack DPS, so it was still pretty similar and also very difficult starting out on this account, so I struggled hard. Puzzles in general were also tricky, especially when I had to break the rocks to unlock this domain, but Ember had something that we could use to solve this puzzle with both characters. I also brought Child out, but only to fight the Pyro Regis Vine boss since he's Hydro. And I made the whole process easier, but it really took away the challenge aspect of this series since we basically started with a 5 star character. On the other hand, Oceanae was pretty challenging since we had to get through the fight with Amber and Sara only. And this frog doesn't have a weak point, so I'm just kinda not critting now. Or could you have Baron Bunny, our best companion? Hey, it moves like a slime, it's so hard to shoot. So understandably, I gave up. It was honestly pretty fun watching back my old videos, and without the release of Sumeru, there were no Denzel characters to carry me yet. Oh no, I think I'm, I'm losing. No, right? Hello? You gotta shoot every shot, okay. That was close. Blitz account changed, for the better or worse, once Yellen got her first banner. Before we even got to Paul, I went through the rest of the Mondstadt storyline, where of course, we had to fight the Valen with our bow characters. Even though we got Venti to use as a trial character, I decided to charge myself and only used Ember and Zara, who worked as a pretty nice combo with Overload. It was actually easier than I expected, and I was able to get through the first fight pretty easily. With Yelan Pulse, I did a bunch of different wishing rituals, from going to the chasm and wishing there, to just wishing in Yelan's house, and my luck changed instantly. Alright, let's do it. We're in his- Oh! Right Tofu? Right Tofu? Right Tofu, do I get it? You caught it, you said gold. And kill? Okay, I got my purple. I'm not sure. It's okay. Even though I lost my 50-50, I still had a decent amount of primo gems left, but not enough for a 5 star pity. So I continued the story quest to grind. When was Diona's last raider? I feel like she's been 
absent for forever in the banner. Was it Yae? Was it like on Yae Miku's banner? I think it was. I hope Denzo can be like a direct counter to Hydro Shields. Right now, so Cryo is the best one to deal with Hydro Shield. How is this? Oh, this looks kind of scary. Back then, I still didn't have a downer. So it was pretty hard going through all of the story without one. Oh. Please don't kill me. Okay, we got it. Yeah, you can see how I'm not having a good time without downer. But we still got to do that domain. All right, which chair was I sitting on? This one, right? With Amber. All right. I have 6.9k still. Oh, I actually got a few primos back. And I need 12k to reach 75, I believe. All right. Who knows? Maybe we'll get Yelan right now. <laughs> no. Alright, let's get that Ona. Barbara. Oh well. Oh! This is actually better than anything else. Signs of good luck. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good pen roll. Finally got our first hero. Yolar, I mean. With some luck involved, we got two of the four-star banner rate up characters, plus a downer. So this made our bows only account automatically better, since we'll actually be able to heal now. Then the impossible thing happened. Do I do another 10 roll? I can do three more times. I guess I'll do one more 10 roll because downer was good luck. So hopefully we can get Yelan. Do it? Okay. We need a die. Oh! Really? This is guaranteed, right? <laughs> wow. After getting an early Yalan, she made the rest of Mondstadt a breeze, and we got through the Razor story quest, and I moved on to start the Liyue Archon quest as well. Liyue wasn't nice to me though, in the beginning anyways. Please don't, I'm gonna drop. After that, I did some world quests here and got through the Archon quest as well. Before I knew it, I basically sped through Liyue and was ready to start in Azuma. This, however, might have backfired because my account was severely underleveled. At this point, my characters were only at level 50, while the enemies in the overworld are 10 levels above me, which made farming materials a pain. Even at AR 30, I powered through the Inazuma prequest involving Kazuha and defeated most of the treasure hoarders along the way and got to Inazuma. The enemies here were a lot harder, especially with my unbuilt characters. We were introduced to Yoimiya, who happens to be the next banner target for bows only. The road leading up to pulling for Yoimiya was actually pretty rough. I had to finish the Inazuma Archon quest just so I could get more primo gems for her. But we know how well that goes. I reached AR 30, so I started the Inazuma Archon quest. I promised in the earlier episodes that I will start using my venti after we set foot in Inazuma, so I did. We met Toma and did what he asked us to do. Most of this Archon quest is just talk and talk and more talking. Oh hi Ayaka, you guys get a point. So yeah, now we are wanted criminals in Inazuma, so we escaped to the resistance. First we met Tepe, then best doggo, struggled a bit with the aiming test because my Yalan exploded her charge shots. Wait what? What do you want Tepe? You just rudely interrupted me. What? And then we did a few Fatui beatdown for the resistance army. Oh, bye, Tepe. We'll avenge you for sure. Nope. The hardest part, however, was the second half of the Archon quest, where we had to go and defeat both Signora and Raiden Shogun with our bow characters. Although we did have Diona, she wasn't really that built, so we still had to be careful. Along with Venti, I also completed my revenge arc against Signora, for stealing my Venti's Gnosis back in Mondstadt. We moved on to fight Raiden, who was also pretty difficult, but since we have a long range advantage, we stayed a distance away and slowly chipped down her HP and won against the boss. Later on, I did an Ascension Domain with my level 50 characters against level 60 enemies, and that was not fun. But eventually, we did ascend our world level to 4 as well. We quickly got through Chasm. Wait, what? What happened? Did I just explode it or something? And collected enough primo gems for a temple. We did a number of rituals this time around. I settled with three embers in my world using a fireworks gadget. This is my ultimate ritual since I'm even on Yoimiya's cliff from the story quest. 
So she's gotta come home to me, right? Fysar? Let's see if we can get Fysar first. Well, she didn't come as soft pity, so the buildup was kind of unsatisfying. I did a single roll after, but she still hasn't come home. So now we just gotta get more primo gems now. We did a gear event thing to get more primo crumbs and explored a bit to unlock the waypoints and chests along the way for more primo gems. We finally got one more pull, so I decided to exchange 160 primo gems into one intertwined fate for an extra 200% luck and a 0.00001% boost to the 50 50 win and pull. Okay. Maybe we'll get a blue anyways. Good luck. Thanks, SP. This is for the 50-50 win. Oh, okay. Fingers crossed. Hmm. And yep, we'll have to cherish this last moment. Because after we tried pulling for Gang Yu, we did not get her. Now, after almost a year, we're finally back on Boti or Bo's only account for revenge. I probably have enough primo gems to pull for Gang Yu, but hopefully I'll be able to get her early. My pull history were all wiped since I haven't logged into this account for a while. The first temple I got only 4 stars, but hopefully I don't steal your cabins. The second temple got me another cave? And the 30th pull got me 2 officials. For the 40th pull, I tried pulling a Mount Alkang and this happened. The average amount of pulls you get a 5 star is 52 according to Paimon.mo. Is that how? I'm not sure if this is like already 75 pity, but like. This should be going you right. I feel like I lost my 50 50 last time. Yeah. I don't really think this is. 50-50. It's probably guaranteed. Yeah. I finally got my revenge and got my Gang Yu. This time, it might be early as well. So I guess I got a gift from Genshin for not logging on for a year. I know a lot of people have been asking me about my Bows Only series, but hopefully this video will serve as a proper closure for this series. Personally, I'm not sure if I'll ever continue this, since I do have multiple ongoing series such as Animal Only, Road to Wands K, and Zero to Hero, so my hands are pretty full right now. So starting another Genshin series will probably be later down the road. I do have plenty of ideas for future videos though, so hopefully you guys will continue to support me. And yes, I'm gonna bring this back as well. Right now I'm trying to surpass Kirara's tales and subscriber counts, so make sure to subscribe to my channel to help me get through this milestone. As always, thanks for watching, and make sure to check out my Zero to Hero series by clicking on the video here.